we tell guys all the time that marriage isn't really a good institution in the United States anymore because it's kind of set up for guys to fail. Because um, if a woman does divorce you, she has way too much to gain and you have everything to lose. Yo, what's up, y'all boys? Welcome back to the podcast. If you like the intro clip, please sub to the channel and like the vid because it only gets better from here on out. But with that being said, let's hop right into it. Mine's super random, but you guys talk about relationships and dating. And so I just wanted to hear your guys' perspective on like marriage. Like, when do you, would you guys like want to get married by? That's just a random question. Or if you want to get married. Yeah, if you want to get married. It's a good question. There you go. Very fresh. What's your, what's your take on it? Man, nigga, you, it's your turn, nigga. <laughs> no, you, you, I want to uh, do it okay. again. Okay, okay. <laughs> so um, regarding marriage and um, long term, you're asking my personal preference? Or just guys yeah, in general? Your personal preference. Uh, me personally, like, if I uh, do get a little bit older and I, I, feel, I feel like I've found someone I have a connection with and we could build, she's considerate, of course, mm -hmm. uh, feminine and, you know, attractive, like, I feel like I could kind of like commit to her in that sense mm -hmm. um but to get married no not at least not not in the states because uh yeah. the rules i in my opinion and our opinion like is skewed towards women so if for whatever reason she says you know what this is fun and all but like i'm gonna move on mm -hmm. i can lose have my stuff mm -hmm. but if the, if the connection is there then it shouldn't matter if we involve the government or not right. so my thing is like if if i'm if i find a person and she really is into me and the connection is there marriage is just kind of like kind of like an extra step but it's not it's not like, like necessary i would say yes. so for me it's kind of like nah I understand that. You? Uh. All right. First of all, I'm gonna say I agree with bro to the to the mass right here, man. Marriage is so biased towards women it's in the United States that it's crazy, my nigga. Like, it's so crazy to the fact that even if you have a fucking prenup that you both agreed on, they can throw that shit out anytime. And 99% of the time, it's in favor of a woman. What? Like, I just seen a story the other day of how uh, a man. So, basically, he was married to, like, a college professor type shit. And she was making way more money than him. They both made decent money, but she made way more than him. So, essentially, they was getting divorced. So, what she did is she quit her job so he had to pay child support and shit. And it went through. What? She quit her job so she can live off him. And it went through, even though she had a good job. You feel me? Like, and I hate to, I hate to say it, but it would not work that way in a man's, man's way. You feel me? If a man did that, like, he would still be fucked. So... My man out here, be careful when it comes to marriage. Be careful who you who you commit to, cause you can easily get fucked over. Uh, for kids, you know, I would do it strictly for for kids, cause other than that, it's really stupid to get married. And then I would go and get married in a country where I wouldn't necessarily get punished if you know a divorce were to happen, because we tell guys all the time that marriage isn't really a good institution in the United States anymore, because it's kind of set up for guys to fail. Because um, if a woman does divorce you, she has way too much to gain and you have everything to lose. So it's a high stakes game. So I would probably go to the Middle East. I've, I've talked about it. I probably would go to uh, Dubai or uh, Kuwait or... Um, Colombia? Or, no. no. <laughs> uh, Dubai, du Dubai, Kuwait or um, the UAE. Or, sorry. UA the UAE, Kuwait or Saudi Arabia. Sorry. Can you just get a prenup though? You can. You can. But it's, it, it has to be uh, updated uh, consistently. And then in general, like, I don't think raising kids in the United States is, is the best way to go. You know what I'm saying? There's just a lot of degeneracy, a lot of fucked up stupid shit here. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't. I would probably want to raise my kids in, in the Middle East if I was going to have kids. But let's, let's be real here. If a guy said to you, you're my girl, I love you, but sign this paper right here. I don't trust you that much. <laughs> would you really take that serious? I mean, if they were like, you know, making so much money to the point where they wanted to be secure in themselves and... I, they wanted me to prove to them that I'm not using them for money. Like, yeah, I would sign it. Let's go for a round of applause, y'all boys. Just a round of applause. Because it's not a lot of women like her, you know? Most of the time we hear these topics about prenups, most women say, I'm not signing a prenup. Uh, that just shows that you think we're going to fail, a type of shit. And they don't understand that the prenup is to protect both of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just, let's just give her a round of applause, like I said, because she is the first woman I've seen, I'm not, the first I've seen personally, or like on YouTube or internet or anything, to understand the value of a prenup and not think it was just to hurt them or to think that it was put to put like a, how to say this, to put a limit on your marriage. You know what I'm saying? That It's crazy that a lot of women out here are thinking that a prenup is trying to say you think the marriage is going to fail, but have all the power in the marriage when it comes to divorce you know like just look at just look at all these powerful men getting divorced and what the fuck they gotta pay out with their 
alimony is and shit, child support is and all of that shit, you know? Even if the woman does wrong, she's still going to get the benefits of it. So guys, listen to me. If you do get married, get a fucking prenup. Get a, le- get a legal prenup. You know what I'm saying? Something that, that has a small possibility of being thrown out. Because I'm not going to say it can't be thrown out because... They, the judge can throw out whatever they want to, and especially if you got a woman ju- woman judge, good luck, my nigga. But <laughs> but get a prenup, get a legal prenup, get it. Like I said, keep it updated, keep a legal updated every year. So if the if it comes down to a time to where your wife wants to divorce you, my nigga, you're set in stone and you're good. You know. But deep down, how would you really feel though? Like I would you- personally have no problem. With I would have yeah, no problem with no it problem. either. Really. Yeah, not at it's, all. It's easy to say I that really when they don't have because because I ladies. hope to have money. I would so wanna... I'd hope to make him sign up. Yeah, exactly. So that's my well. goal. <laughs> that's they my goal. <laughs> if you want to be honest, uh, you know it's funny that will never happen because women typically don't marry down to the point where they need to protect their ass. I'm okay that's with marrying rare. down. I, would... I am. I am because I've done it already. I and where's that guy? It. All right, so let's give another round of applause to the whole panel of women because. That's a mindset that I like in a woman anyway. That she wanna be her boss, so she not gonna worry about it, man. She wanna she wanna make him sign a prenup or the prenup's gonna be mutual because they both got money. That's the type of woman I want in my life. So the, you know what I'm saying? I re- I really like that mindset of them. And I'm assuming they're not capping, you know, because some people get on these podcasts and cap all the time. I'm assuming they're keeping the buck and I'm gonna go on off their their responses and I really appreciate that and I like that modern thinking. This is like the good side of modern dating. These boss women that that know how to do everything with their own. They don't need no man. That's the that's the that's the modern dating that I like. I don't like the modern dating where we got women out here that's trying to depend on their man or out here spewing information I saying that a man should do everything in a relationship and win nothing in return. But says, you know, I hate that that side of modern dating. But I like this side of they wanna be their own boss. Want to make their own money and want to be mutual. So I really like that shit. Um, other than that, I think it's one more thing you said I got to highlight on. Yeah, what well, Myron said. Woman dating down is very dating or marrying down is very very rare. Uh, I say <laughs> I say it all the time. Men, for some reason, always marry down, unless it's like two celebrities. But in regular regular life. It's always the main marry down. I don't understand why. I always tell people in my personal life that if I date or marry, I'm dating at the same, dating or marrying at the same level or up, you know? So I'm not going to be in a per- predicament to where I'm, where somebody can just take all my fucking money, you know? Cause I might, I might go down for that. I learned from these motherfuckers, these niggas that's on the TV and shit on the internet getting fucked over. I'm not getting fucked over. So I would, that, that, that would be, that would be my advice to y'all as well. You feel me? Date and marry on your financial level or up if you're thinking long term anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to protect you even more. But with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed my points, my advice, and I hope you enjoyed Fresh and Fresh advice on this topic as well. I hope you take this advice down the road with you and keep it keep it in your mind because it's very, very important so you don't get fucked over in the long run. Have a good day or night whenever you're watching this. And with that being said, I'm out.